Chinese AI chatbot Ernie seems to evade questions about Chinese leader Xi Jinping. And Snapchat's MyAI gave a tester, pretending to be a 13-year-old girl, advice on how to have sex with a 31-year-old man. These are just two examples of current problems with AI chatbots. The CEO of OpenAI, the company behind the well-known ChatGPT, recently warned of risks that come with artificial intelligence. Could AI chatbots be manipulating us? Big tech is fighting for domination in the field of consumer AI. And some developers seem to care more about release dates than safety. Surprisingly, the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, recently admitted in an interview that he is wary of the technology himself. He noted that AI applications could come with real dangers as they continue to reshape society. And there's a lot of evidence suggesting he's right. Let's take a look at China, for example. Ernie was unveiled just a couple of days ago. The Chinese chatbot was reluctant to answer questions about Chinese President Xi Jinping or even complicated aspects of younger Chinese history. This was discovered by tests conducted by the Reuters news agency. Well, it's not clear if this is intentional or a flaw in programming. Nevertheless, we can see here how AI bots could be misused. They could be programmed in a way to avoid certain topics or even give out false information. AI bots are already being integrated into our everyday life by being programmed into search engines. Authoritarian regimes could use them as powerful tools influencing public opinion on a large scale. Let's assume that Ernie just hasn't been perfected yet and might just be missing information in its database. This doesn't make the situation less problematic as the spreading of misinformation could lead to bad decisions. Experts have been pointing out that artificial intelligence is not yet ready for real-life decision-making. AI can be capable of solving problems when data, parameters and variables are involved that are beyond human comprehension. And programs such as ChatGPT are also surprisingly useful for creative brainstorming. But AI notoriously fails in responding to certain human factors ethical, moral, and other human considerations that are the foundation of our societies. Just take Snapchat's MyAI. When a tech entrepreneur registered as a 13-year-old girl, the chatbot supported her plan to go on vacation with a 31-year-old man she had just met, even giving her tips on how to lose her virginity to the stranger. MyAI does not understand how morally reprehensible it is to pair a 13-year-old girl with a 31-year-old man. It must learn this kind of parameter from its programmers. AIs are still incapable of understanding human morals. What AI chatbots are good at already is conversation. It's definitely more fun to ask ChatGBT about a topic than to run a standard Google search. But this also poses a threat. Chatbots can trick us into believing we're chatting with a real person. By creating a closeness, it makes users less skeptical towards information we receive from chatbots. This in turn multiplies the possible negative effects of AI chatbots' shortcomings. So AI chatbots have the potential to manipulate us to make bad decisions, either due to lack of information in their databases or, even worse, as a result of intentional programming by malevolent players. What do you think? Should there be stricter regulations on consumer AI? Let us know.